Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this is actually probably one of the best episodes of the season. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for I Know What You Did Last Summer, episode 9 of Supernatural Season 4. This is the episode where we are introduced to Anna, the Jessica Chastain looking actress who is actually a fallen angel who has a lot of significance in this season and is actually probably one of the best characters of this show that wasn't around for a long time. We get introduced to a few other aspects including Alistair who is going to come in with his incredibly menacing chin in the next few episodes episodes who has obviously a past with Dean and we also learn about what Sam and Ruby were up to hands and everything there's a lot of really exceptional building going on in this episode not only are we building up to the mid-season finale for the season but we're also building these different character arcs we're showing the relationship between Sam and Ruby which will eventually become a conflict between Sam and Dean at the end of the season we're showing a character that will eventually start to build a pretty significant relationship with with Dean and at the very 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 end of the episode we see that the angels are again not as righteous or as good as one would interpret considering what they're being told to do. I like this episode for a variety of reasons. There's a lot of great action in this episode. The back building in terms of what happened to Sam is really well done as well as the Anna character is very kind of mysterious. She has a great illusion of mystery about her. And as we slowly start to learn more about her, very little that we do in this episode, she becomes more and more of a compelling character. Also, Ruby gets a lot of great development in this episode, a character who we still really don't know a lot about, especially this new version of her. She gets a lot of necessary backstory that we've been kind of holding out on and waiting to see what happened. And maybe that might have been what they were doing when they were building the season. They're like, okay, we're just going to get a couple episodes in before we really kind of figure out what's been happening with Sam and Ruby. And I like the prelude with Alistair. He doesn't get a lot in this episode, admittedly. And I do think that one of his best parts is the whole I'm wearing a pediatrician joke. But admittedly, the actor who's going to do Alistair later on in this season blows this guy out of the water. He's a bona fide character actor and in fact actually he appeared in Damnation which was a western series that Netflix had one season of it's very good if you've never seen it I like how this episode builds up things I like how it has a consistency to it if there's any one bad thing in this episode is when Alistair grips Sam and pulls him across the room they did this really weird camera trick where they had the camera in front of Sam as he's flying across so it's him here looking at him like this and he's just like it looked really corny there. Aside from that, though, this is a solid episode. It's not the woo-hoo as I would want it to be for a 7. It's very close. This is another one of those 6.5 kind of feelings for me because it's a solid episode, but there's just something that's keeping it from being a perfect episode to me. I don't want 7 out of 7 ratings to be taken for granted. I want them to really, truly deserve that rating. And while this episode is a solid episode, it just doesn't get it. It's hard for me to kind of explain, but it, it just doesn't have it. It's a very good build up though to the mid-season finale, which will be heaven and hell next. Otherwise though, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 7. I really like the backstory, I like the building, and I like the characters. So far, season 4 has not let me down yet. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at how much I've enjoyed this season so far. It is a very well-established season. That is something that I've known about, but I've just never really fully acknowledged. Anyways, I asked you guys about your comments for this episode, so let's read those off now. This is an interesting one to start with. If you take the H and the forward out of Jeremy's last name, you get the name of the character introduced in the next episode, Anna. This episode once again reminds us of how badass, powerful demons and angels used to be. It was an intense lore and story episode I remember being shocked by and enjoyed. But during seeing Slam's flashback of the demon blood continue influencing uh, this antagonism between them, at least I think it was partially responsible because the first episode of season 5, it flips and Dean is at the advantage in the moral aspect and their arguments as Sam literally just released Lucifer. Now it was Dean who was on, who was shown as the stronger and main uh, as Michael's vessel before season 4 made Sam look strong and Dean weak, etc. At least in my mind. Yep, no, I can see that. Literally, the season 4 antagonism disappears in season 5. Anyways, this episode showed angels who would be in scrubs later. Remember how important Joshua was, the angel who spoke to God, but later season died so unceremoniously. As badass and, real and the reality of them being not so far from the demons and their brutality, obviously not as bad. You still asked back in your mind, where is God, etc. I like this episode and its follow-up. Yep, no, it's a... Uh... 
that idea of not knowing if God even existed actually was a real fun element of the show for a while. I know you did last summer introduce my second favorite demon in this series, Alistair. Yes, he is pretty awesome. It's crazy to know how many actresses portray Ruby throughout the epi this episode, but I feel like the housekeeping may does it best. There's a lot of un there's a lot to unload in the episode because it takes the sand it takes about uh, it talks about Tam's Sam's time when Dean was in hell and introducing one of the decent angels named Anna. It is definitely an underrated stunt with Sam and Dean jumping out of the church window. I love how rare it is when Sam and Dean can't win. How overall, it's a pretty great episode. Actually, yeah, thinking about it, the last time that Sam did a big sort of stunt was when he had to jump into the pool on the second floor of that balcony. I think that was in season two. It's playthings, if I'm correct. I know what you did last summer is a great mid-season finale. Actually, I don't think it is. The, no, Heaven and Hell is in it. But either way, it's still a great episode. This episode has everything. It is action, it has intensity, it has drama, and it has Alistair, who gives Azazel a run for his money. God, I love this guy. So we also get to see some much-needed backstory for Sam, and we get to see how truly dark his character has become. With that said, I have more a major issue that is the main overarching problem of this season. It doesn't affect this episode. Uh, the girl who plays Ruby is a horrible actress, and this episode showcases the limit of her acting ability. Her performance as Ruby ranges from bland to downright awkward. She brings no charisma or personality to the character, a drastic change for Cass Kate Cassidy's energy and sass to the point that she basically feels like a different character. Ruby has so much potential for me in season 3, but uh, after this she became my 8th worst character in the entire series. When the actress that was brought for 5 minutes in the flashbacks does a better job of Ruby than the one in the entire season, you know how bad you are. I feel that they were wanting to make her more, um, more, less antagonistic. Like, if she was the way she was, there's no way her and Sam would have gotten together, and so they needed to kind of give that sort of connection between the two. I'll admit she doesn't offer nowhere near as much of an interesting arc as Kate Cassidy did, but I see why they did it. Ooh, I know there's tons of exposition and explanation as to what Sam was up to while Dean was in hell, and I know what you did last summer, but that scene with Sam and Ruby getting close is just cringy to know to watch knowing that they're married in real life. It makes it hard to watch now. Eh, I don't, eh honestly, it's, it's, it's actors doing acting stuff. Also, the introduction of Anne, ugh. Not sure about anyone else, but I really hated that character. Thank goodness she wasn't around for very long. Although the backstory about her, how she became human, the next episode I think is very interesting. And also the introduction of Alistair, by far one of the best antagonists in the show, in the series, and next to Lucifer Season 5 and Yellow Eyes. Now, actually, it's funny, a lot of people are saying... Oh, and on a totally different note, if you checked out Cobra Kai, very well-written well series. Actually, I have not, because I've never seen any of the the Karate Kid movies, and I just, I kind of, it's just not something of interest to me. Um, funny enough, everyone's talking about Alistair, and immediately I do the same thing, but it's not this actor that I like very much uh, that's coming up. It's the one who's going to be in the head on a pin that you're going to, oh no, the one before it that you're really going to like. Death Takes a Holiday. And then also for Anne, I like her, but admittedly she's, I'm waiting for her to offer a little bit more, but she's kind of like the third party of angels so far to see. I love how horrifying hell sounds this season. To me, one of the huge mistakes of Supernatural was depicting hell in season six when Cass and Crowley go, and it's not scary at all. Oh, that's the lineup, if I'm correct. Like the never ending line, right? They should have never shown the monster. Now, admittedly, that is a good writing tactic. Stephen King uses that quite a bit. Anyway, season nine, episode nine is great. I like the Sam flashbacks and the pacing is good, having action in the present and the past. It feels like a solid part one of two without feeling like uh, they saved all the action for episode 10. I like the idea of how of having a character and in the middle, uh, yeah, exactly, of the angels and the demons. Sam and Dean patching up, uh, each other up shows the brutal outcome of their fight, something we hardly see, the dislocated shoulder bit, all that good stuff. Yes, that is a good point too, actually. You don't see that as nowhere near as much as you should considering, you know, what these guys go through throughout their entire careers. The last one here, I liked Anna Milton. Unfortunately, Anne would turn bad in Season 5, Episode 13. The song remains, at least I understand her motives for her actions in Season 5, even if I'm opposed to her methods. According to the Supernatural Wiki, Anne intended to replace Castiel, who was supposed to be killed by Alistair and head on a pin. Yeah, you can totally see that was a setup as, Dangel's, as Dean's angelic guide. Due to Castiel's immediate popularity with critics and fans alike, much of Anne's role was given to him instead. Yes, I see that. Most definitely. Alistair leaves an impression and he appears in more episodes in Season 4 than Lilith. Alistair is powerful enough to resist the demon killing knife and angel smiting. Most importantly, however, Alistair is imposing because of his connection to Dean. One of the reasons powerful demons were more challenging was because the brothers Winchester had a reason to be afraid of them or have a vendetta. Later seasons would tarnish his practice. The only demon I can think of that Sam and Dean have a personal relationship with post-season 5 is Abaddon. Yes, I was going to say that too. Which is because they killed, she killed their grandfather. Alistair is also more intimidating because Ruby is afraid of him. Ruby even mentions how impressive it is 
it was for her to be working with Lilith without Alistair knowing when she reveals that she tricked Sam in season, season four's finale. Alistair, unsurprisingly, is uh, is likely based on the demon Alistair in Christian de uh, demonology. According to the dictionary, Infernal Demonology Book, blah, 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 Alistair is likened to Nemesis and destroying the and the destroying angel and is known as the executioner he is exceptionally cruel thank you guys once again for participating in that now we have heaven and hell this is the mid-season finale for season four coming up so make sure to give me your guys' comments about those in the comments below and i'll read those off in the next episode review otherwise guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next week thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.